Hello everyone and welcome to the Shining Light video podcast show where I shine a light on my guests and the positivity they're spreading in their communities. I'm Michael Esposito, the host of the show and a commercial insurance agent at USI Insurance Services, specializing in the tech, technology, and real estate industries. I'll bring my guest in just a few moments, but first a quick update on our show sponsors, the Mindful Living Coaching Program. In this program, Coach Matt Alfonso helps you gain clarity and find a clear vision to your goals. You can DM Matt Alfonso on Instagram. That's at Matt Alfonso and the number one, Matt Alfonso one on Instagram to learn more about his coaching program and how he can help you achieve your goals. He also has a promo. If you mention the Shining Light Video Podcast Show, we'll offer a significant discount if you let him know that you found out about it through this show. I'd also like to thank our other sponsor, HV Gold Rewards, the largest business Facebook networking group in the Hudson Valley. Visit hvgoldrewards.com to buy your $10 uh, HV Gold card. Enter promo code FCH and HV Gold Rewards will donate $8 of that 10 towards FCH Forgotten Turn of Hades fundraisers. Well, everyone, without further ado, I'd like to bring in my guest. And I see him, he's in the chat right now, so I will bring him in. Give it a second, always takes a quick second for him or for our guest to be able to come in. And it looks like, there he is. What's up, Matt? Hey, how's it going? Doing good, man. Well, let me give you a proper introduction. Sure. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Shining Light Video Podcast Show, where I shine a light on my guests and the positivity they're spreading in their communities. I'm Michael Esposito, the host of the show, and an insurance agent specializing in commercial insurance. My guest today is Matt Laspada. Let me just share a little quote that I picked out for you, Matt. Don't wait, the time will never be just right by Napoleon Hill. And to all our guests out there, let us know what that means to you. Matt is a master networker and he got his start through networking. He doesn't wait to take, take action on things and he just goes, goes in and dives in right for it. Matt, could you share with us a little bit about how you got started in the industry, in the mortgage industry, where you are now, actually, where you are now, and how you got started in the industry, and why you have such a great drive for networking? Sure thing. Yeah. First off, thanks for having me on, and kudos to you for putting on such an amazing show. Um, where I'm at currently is in my office. Um, here, I'm at the Wappingers branch. Um, how did I get here, though? That's an interesting story. I'll try and keep it as, as brief as possible, but... Um, I, I mean, I'm a local to the area. I grew up just outside of New Paltz and absolutely love living in this area. It's, it's such an amazing place. There's such a balance of life. You can, you can go to anywhere. You know, if, if you want to go skiing, it's a drive away. If you want to go to the beach, it's a drive away. But we're far enough where you can comfortably live a life in, in, in a nice, quiet area. And, and I've always been attracted to our area, you know, the, the Hudson Valley and, and the balance of life that we have here and had no desire to, to go anywhere else. So I, I stuck around. I went and graduated from SUNY New Paltz and from there started my first job in highway construction. So prior to getting out into the net, networking world, I was working on highways, uh, you know, the Thruway, the Taconic, I-84, just, just, um, and I love doing that too. It was a, it was a tough job, but um, definitely that's where I got a lot of, uh, I guess my thick skin and, and the hard work mentality that I that I took when I when I graduated and I knew I needed to get an actual career. Um, so I had I had briefly worked in the finance industry, realized that it wasn't something that that I wanted to pursue, and at the time that's really where I'd started to to network a little bit. And that's where I started to get out there and meet people face to face. And I had come across a gentleman, um, Adam Simpson, who is a, if anyone knows him and anybody who's watching knows that he's a master networker himself. Um, yeah. I got introduced to him and, and he wanted to, to hire me on as a mortgage lender. Um, and at the time I said, you know, it sounds like a good opportunity. It's a, it's a great career where, there's unlimited income potential. There is uh, a lot of flexibility in your schedule, although these days things are pretty hectic. So that flexibility is, is uh, hard to come by, but, um, but it also gives you a, a chance to make an impact in your community. And, mm -hmm. and that checked all the boxes for me. I got right into it. 
didn't even know how to spell mortgage when I started. Quite literally, didn't know there were two G's in there. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, know two G's. I might have spelled it wrong. <laughs> and and at the time, I didn't have any connections. You know, it's 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 certainly an industry where you need to know the local real estate agents, the local financial advisors on the refinance end. So I had nothing else to do other than get out there and start going to events and start attending right. things. And I and I at the time I didn't have a a family unit per se. I just uh, worked in the office, and then in my in the extra time afterwards, I would go out to events and meet people. And I got quite a name for for doing that in a short amount of time because I attended so many events. I mean, it was literally almost every single day I was going to an event. And um, on top of that had gotten to the point where I was planning my, my weeks, planning my months out. And I started making this list for myself. And then someone said, you know, this is a pretty cool list. Maybe you should start sharing it with other people. And I said, well, you know, if I, if I put this list together for myself, it's easy enough to just email it out and, and, and started to, to email out this, this list of networking events that are happening in the Hudson Valley, because you'll find that, a lot of people will stick to their their local chamber, their local networking group, but there's a lot of other opportunities. There's so many people that's such a big area where you could find potential business outside of your comfort zone. And mm -hmm. um, I think it was a it was a way to get my name out there, but it was also a way to hopefully connect groups with other groups. And and that's and you start doing it enough. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, I'm not a master at, at uh, I'm not a, a, you know, there's not much of a talent. It's just, you got to get out there and do it. And, and then over time, you almost just be get, you know, comfortable with, with just meeting new people and, and, and saying the right things. And so um, ultimately decided to, to change banks. And I've been with Ulster Savings now for a year and, and things have been great. Yeah, you know, I, I I wanted to bring that list up that you mentioned, and I, I didn't know that it originated that way, actually, because I, I do know that you attended a lot of events. That's how we met. We met through attending events together. Uh, but yeah, you send that list out, and, and I've used that list. I mean, it's it's a really, really great list. If if you're not on Matt's email list, you need to DM him right away, send him your email, because th this list, it encompasses more than just Dutchess County, it goes into Ulster. I think you even get into Orange County. And, and anytime someone brings up a different chamber or a different networking group, you add it to the group. You go, mm -hmm. all right, cool, I'll find out about the events. So tell us a little bit more about that list and how people can, can, can use it. Because it's my list, I've sort of created my own rules on, on what events that I put in there. But it's pretty simple. As long as it's an event that's local to the Hudson Valley, is open to everybody or open to a large group of people. You know, it can't be exclusive. Um, and it's something where you get to truly interact and network and grow each other's networks. Then that's an event that that should be known. People should know about this. You know, there are people that are willing to take a, a 20, 30 minute drive to go to an event to meet new people. Yeah. And that's, that's what I wanted to push. And, and I, and I've been putting this list together now for over two years. And it, it was kind of a little, you know, bittersweet. And in the past two months, I have not put it out simply because there aren't many word of mouth in person meetings to go to right now. So but I, I can't, I'm looking forward to creating the list again, even if there's a couple of in person meetings. I know we have to, to wait and we have to social distance and we have to follow the procedures. But um, I'm really looking forward to, to sending that list out again. And I do it every first of the month so that you know what's happening that entire month. And you put, put yeah. it in your calendar and you know what's happening for that um, week. You can plan your weeks. I'm going to throw a challenge out to you, Matt. <laughs> okay. We have virtual events, but get, get a okay. virtual event calendar going. So you have, you, and you're on the chamber. We're going to talk about the, the, cha the New Pulse Regional Chamber in a little okay. bit, but we have our virtual coffees every month. So throw, throw that on there. Get a little virtual list going for us, and, and keep uh, keep the momentum going on that list. If if any if, if I know anything about momentum, it's when you stop, it's a lot harder to start up again. So mm -hmm. for sure, keep that list going. We we look forward to it. I just before we move on with the show, I just want to touch up on the mortgage industry and what you do at Ulster Savings Bank. You're you're a mortgage uh, specialist there. Could you just just a quick snippet as to how you can help um, anybody who's watching right now, anybody who's in you know looking to refinance or or buy a new home or anything in that nature? Could you just share real quick how you're able to help them with that? 
I take a very educational approach, very communicative approach to how I work with clients. Um, it's, it starts with that initial conversation. What are you looking to accomplish? Whether it's a purchase of a new home in New York or whether it's a refinance, you want to know what you're getting into and you want to know what the steps you need to take in order to make it both a smooth process through on my end because that's going to make it much easier on your end. So it's, it's all about the communication, the education, and um, what you're looking to accomplish and how you're going to get there. And I work with people all the way from that initial conversation, hey, this is what I want to do, here's where I'm at, to getting to the closing table and moving into that house or getting that great new rate. Yep, yep, taking a very consultative approach. I have this more to talk about, but we'll get to that later. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. well, and, well, and that's something for anybody who's interested can definitely reach out to you. You can DM Matt. He, he, his Instagram handle is obviously a part of the show right now, and, and he'll put all of those in all the comments there. This is the Shining Light Video Podcast Show, where I shine a light on my guests and the positivity they're spreading in their communities. I'm here with Matt Laspada, a mortgage uh, specialist over at Ulster Savings Bank. Mm -hmm. um, I, I always want to put county in there for some reason. <laughs> well, <laughs> over, <laughs> yeah, Ulster, Ulster Savings Bank. That's the bank to go to and check out Matt. He's, he's really great. He takes a consultative approach to be able to help you refinance or get the mortgage to buy the house of your dreams. Matt, with everything that's going on in our world today, we have COVID, we have a lot of other social unrest and different issues going on in our world today. I'd like to get your take. You're, you're very involved in your communities. I'd like to get your take as to what you see as a positive outcome from everything that's going on. You could touch on it in any which way you choose because there is so much going on. So I don't wanna just put it in one category. So what do you see as a positive outcome from everything that we're, we're going through these days? So I'm gonna take it back to the mortgage industry and there's two ways to look at it. What I'm seeing professionally in my day-to-day -day job and what I'm seeing um, not so professionally, I'm, I'm on a volunteer basis in my community and the groups that I'm in. But first is it's really amazing to see interest rates are low, yes, but there are so many people that want to move up from the city. We're getting this massive influx. And I've always, I said it from the beginning, I'm, a, I'm an advocate for living in the Hudson Valley. I think it's the best place on the earth to live. And I want to share that with people. And people want to move up so badly, whether it's whether it's I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of living in my 700 square foot apartment down in Brooklyn that I'm paid a million dollars for, or I'm, I can work remotely. People have the ability to work remotely now and you don't have to commute to that office every single day. That's allowing people to branch out. It's not specific to the city. We have a lot of people working from home and I think that there's a lot of great technology, a lot of great work procedures that will carry over once things do get back to normal. There's going to be a lot, and there are unfortunately a lot of industries that have been affected in a negative way, but I think there's going to be so many positives that we're going to take out of this, this tr kind of transition that we're going through as a whole, as a nation. And, you know, that's, that's kind of what I see on a, on a much broader scale and, and what I see in the mortgage industry. As far as locally in the community, um, there's, I mean, you could see it, you can see a lot of people are getting a little tired, a little, you know, a little bit run down, but there's a ton of people out there that are taking the extra steps to make this a, a positive experience and, and really going above and beyond. I mean, the show is a great example of that, you know, people that, that want to share positive experiences. And then you had mentioned the, the program that's going on in the New Paltz area as far as promoting local businesses and that website that a couple of the people from the New Paltz chamber have put on is truly, truly spectacular. And it's, and it's, man-made effort and it's all just i want to make a difference i want to make it an impact and, and that's all we can focus on is what can i do to make an impact you know it's, it's really um you can get caught up in what's happening and 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 feel a little helpless but you got to focus on what you can control and you know we're doing a lot of great things through the gardener association of business which i know you were a great part of and and we're, we're shining uh, uh, some positivity on the things that, that the local businesses are doing. We're promoting, whether it be um, things that are COVID related or whether it be things that businesses are doing to make a positive transition to normalizing equality in this country. Um, these are these are huge topics right now. And, and you see it on a national level in the news, but you see businesses and you see people in the communities truly truly making that difference going above and beyond yeah. 
Yeah, and we're gonna have we're gonna have Lucia on actually. I think she's gonna be coming on next week, and we'll speak more yes. about Gab and and the the focus that Gardner Association of Businesses has on the community. And there, we're gonna be spotlighting members of the Gardner community on this show, uh, where we're gonna be bringing them on and having them share their stories as to what kind of positivity they're spreading in their communities. That's really great what you shared there, some really great insight. You're 100% right about this, is that there's so much positive, yes. You know, I think, I think in life there's always a balance between the positive and the negative, and whether COVID happened or didn't happen, businesses would fail and businesses would succeed. So this is really just maybe putting more of a magnifying glass on certain businesses and certain industries, and really, you know, there's a huge opportunity for other businesses to grow. So it's a really great way of looking at it. And then, of course, you can see in your real estate industry, it's just booming right now, which is just, uh, I mean, wild and, and amazing. Unbelievable. This, this is the Shining Light Video Podcast show where I shine a light on my guests and the positivity they're spreading in their communities. I'm here with Matt Laspada, mortgage originator over at Ulster Savings Bank. You can reach out to him to help you refinance or get a mortgage for your dream home. He is part of so many different networking functions in our local community in the Hudson Valley. He spoke about his networking list that he puts out on a regular basis. Matt is a board member on the New Plus Regional Chamber of Commerce. Welcome, Matt. You're our, our newest board member. It's really great to have you on there. Matt is also a board member member on the Gardner Association of Businesses. He's part of the Gardner Day Committee and several other organizations. He is very, very active in his community. If you need to know about anything going on in the community, reach out to Matt. So Matt, being so involved in your community, having such a great pulse on your community and all the positive things that happen in the community, could you share with us any acts of kindness and generosity that you're actually witnessing today on maybe a little bit of a smaller scale than what we just spoke about? Sure thing. I mean, there, I mean, specifically, if you look at some of the businesses in the Gardner area, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm in the Hudson Valley, I do a lot, but I'm really, really focused on, you know, getting involved in groups that are specific to where I live and just outside that Gardner New Paltz area, which is why I'm so thrilled to be on the, on the board for the, for the chamber. But, you know, if, if you're looking specifically into the Gardner Association of Business as well, it's, it's another great organization. And, and I truly see even just um, businesses that are opening up to accommodate, you know, small groups of people to, to share their, their experiences um, or putting on a, a nice socially distanced event just to get people out of the house. You know, we can do it in a safe way. Um, but just shining a light, you know, Majestic's Hardware right there in Gardner is a great example. Um, Mike is doing fantastic things in the community, just trying to get, you know, a little bit of life where, you know, if, if you're stuck at home for too long, it, it can, you know, things can seem a little dull. Um, that's a great example. The uh, Liquid Mercantile right there in, in Main Street is doing a lot of fantastic events as well. And then you do start to see, um, you know, COVID specials, COVID savings throughout the, the local area. Um, now that the restaurants are, are truly fully up, up and running from a, from a um, takeout uh, perspective, you know, they're keeping, they're keeping people fed. And, um, and then, you know, if you're going up, you move up a little bit north into New Paltz, you know, what great work that the Jeff Severson and Katie Haynes did with that website to, to not only incorporate the New Paltz area, but, you know, the, the greater area around it and just, you know, just highlighting, hey, these businesses are still open. They still need your support and they could still take your business and, and you could mm -hmm. still go and, 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 and meet and, and do business with the local businesses. It's not, um, it's, it's convenient, but it's not um, great. It's not um conducive to to do every all your shopping on amazon you know you can get right. out there and then you can go and, and connect with these local businesses and they appreciate that now more than ever yep and the website that you you've mentioned a few times also sheila gilday is also a part of that gilday creative that website is we're still open hv.com you could find they have so many so many businesses on there now i mean it just exploded it went from like 201 day to thousands now it just really exploded so if you're looking for any business that's open in the hudson valley region it, it expands for multiple counties i'm not even going to go through the list but just think of the hudson valley region and just go four five six counties 
out and you're going to be able to find businesses that are still open. They're on that website and they're all locally owned, which is really, really fantastic. And, and really nice to see, like you said, like Mike at Majestic Hardware and then Liquid Mercantile. And I see, I see HV Drones is on here. Shout out to Keith, Keith Perry, another gardener resident. And I know he loves Liquid Mercantile. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a great website and it's really a great, like you said, it's a great act of kindness and generosity because Katie Haynes, Jeff Severson, Sheila Gilday, there's no money in it for them. They're not looking for sponsorships. They're not getting paid for it. It's free. I mean, this show, same thing. It's free. It's just things that we're doing to just be able to help our local communities. So yeah, thank you very much for highlighting that. All right. Well, speaking about our local communities, I have a question for you. Yeah, sure. This is the Shining Light Video Podcast show where I shine a light on my guests and the positivity they're spreading in their communities. I'm here with Matt Laspada, mortgage loan originator over at Ulster County. Sa oh, I did it at Ulster <laughs> Savings Bank. He's Ulster Savings Bank, everyone. Ulster Savings Bank. You go there, you go ask for Matt, Matt Laspada, and he's going to help you get your mortgage to refinance and buy the dream home that you've been wishing for. So visit him over there. So Matt, you're involved in the community. We know you're a gardener guy. We know you graduated SUNY New Paltz. All right, those places aside, what's a place right now that you miss that maybe just opened their doors and you haven't visited yet that you just can't wait to go break down their doors, go there with your girlfriend and hang out and have a good time? I tell you what, my one of my favorite things to do is... I mean, don't get me wrong. I love going to concerts, but I think we're, we're, that's a little bit too far on the horizon. But I am really, really looking forward to some of the local breweries opening up, opening their doors to dine in and, I, and just take a day, take a, take a weekend day and just go out and, and visit a couple of breweries and enjoy the day, enjoy the summer. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. There's a couple there in New Paltz. There's a couple over in Poughkeepsie. Um, there's even some on the other side of the river that I just, I love going to, to local breweries and just enjoying the day. Well, one that I'll give you, I'll give you a little, a little heads up on. Hang on, okay. hang on, hang on everybody. I'm still here. Uh, one that you should probably visit is Hudson Ale Works over in oh, Highland. Okay. Mm -hmm. those, those are good friend, good friends of mine. Um, that Josh Zimmerman, Neil Trapani and Adam Trapani. And they, they have uh, Hudson Ale Works. It's right in Highland. It's right by it's conveniently located right by the Lloyd Police Department. And uh, they have outdoor seating. You can go there and, and enjoy a beer while you're sitting outside on their picnic tables. So they have a really nice setup and they make some really, really good beer. And I'm not saying that because they're friends. I'm only saying that because they give it to me for free. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we've had we New up, Chamber events there too, so. Yes, we have, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Before we wrap up the show, and, and I wanna to touch on the Taste of New Pulse actually, before I even go into your, your final messages. So we, we have the Taste of New Pulse. Matt, could you share with us a little bit about, so that I'm not the only spokesman about the Taste of New Pulse, could you share with us, because you've been a New Pulse resident for so many years, you know what the Taste of New Pulse is all about. Could you just kind of tee up the Taste of New Pulse for me and, and share with everybody what it is and what it's all about? So happy to be, part of the, the board now and having an inside perspective on things. And, and that's actually one thing I did want to quickly just say is that the local chambers themselves too are not only putting on virtual professional networking events, but they're also creating a safe place for, for businesses to express how they're feeling right now during COVID. But that aside, talking about the Taste of New Pulse specifically, the Taste of New Pulse has been something very, very special to me because I've gone to probably, I mean, there's, this is the 30th year. So this is going to be a special, special um, taste of new pulse this year. Very unique, but I've probably gone to over 20 in my lifetime. I, 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 I think it's a fantastic event. I love eating the food. I love going there and experiencing what new pulse has to offer. And I've been doing this since I was a little kid because it's right down the road. And it was, it was always just an awesome, awesome event. Um, crazy and amazing to see how it's evolved over the years. And I am really, really excited. I'm not sure how much I can share, how much the board is willing to share on this, but I do well, know. You, you, could, you could share what committee you're chairing. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm chairing the beer, wine and spirits committee, which is right up my alley. Looking forward, <laughs> no to, to, getting, <laughs> looking forward to getting some, some people on and, and it's, it's going to be, um, it's going to be a really, really unique year this year. I think you're going to find that we have to do our best to abide to some of the guidelines and procedures, but it's going to be a truly, truly different look this year. And I'm really excited to see how it pans out. Not, not even so much on the 
on the fairgrounds end of things, but how that's going to look like in the New Pulse Village and the New Pulse community and, and how this, the taste is going to work this year. I'm really excited. For sure. Great. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah, and my, my parents are actually on. They live down in Queens, and they come up here, and my mother just said, great event. The last one was amazing. Yeah, it is a really great event. It usually takes place at the Ulster County Fairgrounds, as Matt was speaking about. It's a, it's a social event. Uh, but because of COVID, it's, it's definitely changed up a little bit. And, and like you said, Matt, we, don't, we, we can't share everything about it because there are a lot of variables. It's going to be very unique this year. But we are looking for engagement from the local New Pulse community. We're looking for the, the restaurants, the retail shops, all the places that make up New Pulse. We're looking for their activity and, their, and them to be a part of this year's 30th anniversary. So if you are a New Pulse resident, if you are a New Pulse business, reach out to Matt, reach out to myself, reach out to the New Pulse Chamber and let us know if you're interested in being a part of this year's taste. We're not sharing too much information right now, but if you do reach out to us on, a, on an individual level, we will share with you what we're doing. It's really unique. It's going to be a lot of fun and it's COVID proof. So it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Well, we're going to wrap up the show here. Before we do, Matt, I, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. This has been the Shining Light Video Podcast Show, where I shine a light on my guests and the positivity they're spreading in their communities. My guest today has been Matt Laspada, mortgage originator at Ulster Savings Bank. And Matt, before we wrap up, I'd like to ask you for your final thoughts, any, any messages or final thoughts that you would like to share with our guests today. My final thoughts here, um, just real quick, just want to say I'm really excited to see how we're going to go through this. Um, what it's going to look like with the massive movement coming up from the city, that's on the on the lending side. Um, but specifically, I did want to just touch base on on the on the taste of new pulse again. And it really is if you're a local business, it's a no brainer because um, I'm sure now more than ever, and it's an opportunity to, to promote yourself, promote your business, but it's an opportunity for you to get involved in the local community and do exactly what we're talking about on this show. And that is providing support and providing um, great, great, awesome, good things for the community. It truly is something you should partake in because now more than ever, getting involved in the community is paramount. Yep. Yep. Thank you for sharing that, Matt. Yes. Great event. It'll take place in September. We have a, a big launch and a big kickoff. And just a, a little a little hint for everybody, it's not just for the New Falls area. It definitely will be. There are going to be some online specials that we're going to be offering. And I can't get too much further into it, but it's going to be really encompassing our surrounding areas for people to come into New Paltz and really experience what the Hudson Valley, what New Paltz is all about. Matt, thanks so much for joining me on the show today. Before we wrap up, I just wanna thank our sponsors, the Mindful Living Coaching Program. You can visit Matt Alfonso with the number one on Instagram. DM him there for a very special offer when you mention the show. He has a nice discount for this coaching program. It's a great program. I'm a part of the program. I found that it's really helped me stay grounded, be able to get closer to my goals and accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, another one of our show sponsors is HB Gold Rewards, one of the largest business Facebook networking groups in the Hudson Valley. Ramon Pinero does an excellent job at promoting local businesses in his Facebook group. So you can visit hbgoldrewards.com to buy your $10 discount card. And what Ramon did was he also partnered with me and Forgotten Insurance of Haiti to offer, if you put in a promo code FCH when you buy your discount card, he will give $8 for every card bought to AF's Forgotten Turn of Hades fundraisers. So thank you very much, Ramon, for putting that together for us. This has been the Shining Light Video Podcast Show. This show will be taking place every Friday at 10 a.m. I'm going to have amazing guests. I believe Lucia is going to be my next guest next week, and, and we'll, we'll be moving forward with that. As always, uh, I want to thank everybody for watching today. I want to let you all know there will be a replay of this show live on my Facebook business page which is Michael Esposito USI, and you can find it there. It'll be live at six o'clock today, a replay of the show. Thanks everybody for watching. Matt, thanks so much for being on the show today. As always, thanks everyone stay happy me. and stay healthy. Take care. Thank See you, Matt. Me. You're welcome. Bye, man.